Hi, I've just finished This Other Eden by Paul Harding, um, another one of the book along list. And this is a book that made me angry. Um, it's based on, it's inspired by true events. Um, in 19, let me get this right, in 1911, um, Malaga Island, uh, which is off Maine, its residents were a small interracial community who'd been there for generations. And in 1911, they were forcibly evicted and some were institutionalised in a school for the feeble-minded. Um, this is a sort of fictional Represent, representation? I, I don't know. Malaga Island is, we've got the fictional island of Apple Island here. Uh, we've got a small interracial community. Um, Esther Honey is a direct descendant of Benjamin Honey and his wife Patience, who were almost the first people on Apple Island and she lives there with her son and her grandchildren and then you've got a very small community as well. The book mainly focuses on Esther and her family. It's a very diverse community. Um, you've got um, families of various colours, uh, there's intermarriage, there's even incest perhaps um, they live in absolute poverty uh, the clothes they wear are threadbare but this community pulls together it is tolerant everybody within this community is accepted by the community it's a very tolerant society and they pull together they support each other um, into this community comes Matthew Diamond, who's um, a retired teacher. And he wants to bring Christianity to the children in this community, Christianity to these people. But what he dislikes about himself is that fundamentally he's racist. He has this, he cannot, he is repelled by the black community that he is within. Um, this community is various range of colours because of all the intermarriage, but he is repulsed by them. And it's something about, it's some, it's, he dislikes that about himself. But his arrival to the island brings the island into the spotlight and he brings scientists to the island. Scientists who are into eugenics. And so these people, and this is, I was so, so angry reading this. They were measured, they were prodded, they were poked, they were photographed. They were treated almost as animals in a market. As a farmer would look at a cow or a sheep or to see, you know, sort of check the teeth and all that. This is what they were doing to these people. And... This humiliation of them. I, I was so angry reading it. And then the decision was made that for the sake of health and, um, what's it? Health and humanity, this island, these people should be segregated. Um, some should be institutionalized in a school for the feeble-minded. Others should just be expelled. The graves of their ancestors should be dug up and relocated. You know, it, they should just be eradicated, expelled. Um, and Matthew thinks that one of Esther's, uh, Esther's grandson, Ethan, um, he's an artist, he's he, under Matthew's tutelage, he's, his art has blossomed and he thinks that because Ethan could pass as white, 
he can save him. He can send him to his friend in Maine where he can develop his artistic ability. But, you know, he's, he does this, but he's set the wheels in motion for the eradication of this community and he just stands back and lets it happen. Throughout the book, we are told the backstories of these people, uh, mainly the honeys. And there are religious themes that run through it as well. You've got Noah's Ark, you've got the parting of the waters. Um, and as for the title, The Other Eden, um, Apple Island might not be the biblical paradise that Adam and Eve lived in. But like Adam and Eve, did they deserve to be expelled? Um, for me, at the heart of this book, this heart, the heart of this book is intolerance. Um, society's intolerance for anybody that is different, that is considered less. And it's a book about whether people like that should be, should they always be humiliated and driven out? It is a thought provoking read. It's very short, uh, just over 200 pages. But it certainly gets you thinking, and it made me angry. So, 12 read, one to go from the book along list. So, happy reading. Take care.